Welcome to the Yard Late Night Show. Wow, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight. So today I'm gonna introduce you one of the popular writer, English writer in our country. He's a young man. He's a friend of mine. He's a buddy of mine. We used to stay uh, together, uh, you know, when it was in the a hard time at the university, and I have. Lost in touch with him for uh, several months. Can say that, <laughs> but uh, tonight we can't wait to see him. So I'm really miss him, and I hope that you guys who are watching tonight will gonna like and subscribe and share it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So without a delay tonight, welcome to my best friend, Darali. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. Please take a seat. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much. And uh, wow, I love your outfit, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a, that's, a, that's a good color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how are you doing so far? Well, I'm doing good. And, You're doing good? Uh, you know, uh, been staying home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Same, 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 yeah. right? So do I. So okay, we we haven't met each each other like for how many years? Have been month? I think. Uh, I think I think year. Just. I think year. year. One year. Think, one yeah. year and a half, right? Yeah. And and you was like uh, uh, skinny before. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like a very very handsome. Okay. Did you did you go to? I mean, uh, you mean to say fat? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. uh, did you go to a gymnastic or did you? Well, sometime I I, I do uh, uh, ride, you know. Uh, like, bicycle. Okay, but so so yes, some time because you, you know, like during the lockdown and uh, even after lockdown, I mean it's hard. I mean it's hard for us to uh, really go out okay. and not feeling uh, safe. Okay, you know? okay, ladies and gentlemen, here tonight, uh, Dar Ali, uh, he's a English uh, book writer and he has written so 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 many books and one of his famous books. I love reading every day, every time is three minute motivation. So, you know that Dar Ali is not only a graduate student, he's not a uh, social worker, and also he's a community uh, contributor. He likes helping people outside there. He always engage and collect the books to have their poor libraries in a countryside. Yeah, we've been and, doing that. Right, okay, so, right, uh, okay, man, so we, since we haven't uh, met long time, let's say one and a half year, right? And then, what did you do during that period? Like, well, like during the whole uh, locking down and COVID nineteen time, and yeah. uh, how much? Uh, how do you? How did you spend your time? I wrote, uh, you know, like, yeah. I mean, just like you, and I was reading, okay. and then I stopped them all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically, now I don't read, I don't write. <laughs> <laughs> so why? Why? <laughs> it's uh, I don't know. It, you know, like at some point, life sort of catch up to you, and uh, you just cannot escape from right. from it. You okay. just have to. Uh, we have to deal with it. Uh, yeah, you have that. to deal with it, and which is uh, weird to me. Okay. Uh, fortunately. That was during, uh, okay. uh, I mean, COVID time, so we don't have much to do. So, so, so what, what, uh, like, since you are a writer, and uh, how many books have you have written down right now? Since 2016, I have uh, written a lot, but uh, successfully published 14 uh, titles. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow, 14 books, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't, like, uh, since 2000. 16 yes. and 20, uh, uh, 2021, right? Six, uh, 14 books. Well, actually, 2021, actually, I, did, I didn't uh, publish anything yet because uh, I don't know. I mean, the condition of COVID is uh, getting you know, you know, unstable time, uh, from time to time. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's uncertain when I could or should uh, publish the next title. And uh, sorry to some fans waiting for my new title. I mean, I've been promising to them, but uh, you know, sooner never come. So All right, that's okay, fans. Okay, thank you, fans. Wow, uh, you know, like uh, one of your uh, books, like uh, like I told you, like a three-minute motivation. And then 
uh, the first book that I read was not uh, Three Minute Motivation. It's a, it's a, it's the first book that you wrote. The title? Riley Reading Standard. That's right. Uh, the yes. Riley Reading yeah, Standard. It was like something I share with uh, my experience regarding uh, reading practice. And that's not the reason I know you because because <laughs> yeah. uh, you pop up on the news like a, a, yeah, I mean, a company pause know, and I mean a lot of people know that I'm a writer, but the, the truth is, I'm first a reader, second a writer. I mean. I read a lot, uh, although I'm not reading books. I uh, sort of like reading uh, uh, people, right? Uh, which is uh, quite interesting. And, and one more thing, uh, 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 I really interesting about you is man. It's like when we first met, it was like uh, you you was very famous that time, and I was like uh, a I big fan of yours. I ain't no famous like you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You, know, you are, you are. People, a lot of people, a lot of my fans also, uh, they knew you before they, 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 they happened to know me. So they, they do it like a... I'm famous. I'm, I was no, you, you are, you are actually. You are, you are no, my, my, my idol before. So when, I, when we first met you, we, we met at uh, you grade a conference, right? And then you grade a workshop. So I said, oh, I had to go and check. I have to study uh, how to write books uh, with Darali. But I, that time, I, I was just starting while you just... You published two books already, <laughs> and I was just like studying. And then, uh, okay, yeah. and then uh, outside of the writing book, can you tell me uh, what have uh, driven you to be a writer? Because you know, like a writing book is not easy, especially English book, right? And 14 titles, ladies and gentlemen, 14 titles. It's not an easy. I spent like, uh, let's say, to get a book done, oh, sometimes my, my idea will get stuck. <laughs> you know, when I, I met, uh, uh, I met, I met you, man. So you just focus on writing. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, Dada has a very strong Zen uh, humor, and and he also has a strong commitment. So when I first met him, uh, uh, I just saw him like focus on writing. When he focus on writing, nobody can touch him. So he just focus like that. <laughs> well, I cannot do that sometimes, you know. That's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> he knew so, that. Thank you. I mean, he, he wouldn't. He wouldn't want to, you know, go anywhere near me because he I just would concentrated. Give him a, a, a very serious look. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And and okay. Could you tell me a little bit, like, uh, because you was born in the uh, where? Which from? Kampung Cham. From Kampung Cham. Uh, yeah, yeah, from Kampung Cham. Uh, which district? Uh, Kasetan, uh, you know, somewhere. Uh, uh, the village and community next to uh, Sreisinto. So, uh, next to Sreisinto district in Kampong Cham province. And then, so what led you to, to be a writer? Because you was born in the countryside, you could say that, you could say that. And then uh, you came to Phnom Penh and then later on you become a writer. So why did you decide to write? Uh, I, I, uh, I, would, I, would, I would be honest with you. Uh, I woke up in the morning. Then okay. I, I told myself I wanted to. I, I, I want to write one book uh, to uh, celebrate my birth, my birthday. Right. Um, that was five days before my birthday. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't succeed though. Okay. But, uh, I actually. Uh, I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, writing and finish to right. celebrate my birthday, I didn't succeed. But I was successful in terms of. Uh, publishing that first book and uh, people kind of like it and so yeah so I I, uh, I started to think well maybe I could you know uh, write some more right maybe I could uh, do something else right then uh, at one point I so, so I what, what, what is your what, what is your uh, specialization or uh, major at university then English, it's a, English yeah, not English not a writer not a, <laughs> Not a writer. Okay, but later on, like, so you develop from English literature and then uh, become a writer. So, yeah. uh, do you have a plan for the future? Uh, like, you are, you, are, you are going to, uh, to write how many books in the future? I'm going to write books and uh, publish them uh, to make sure that everybody can read uh, at least one book a week. That uh, wow. to me would be uh, 50, wow. 50 this is going to be a very uh, for everybody. So I'm not sure how many out. I would be writing. I would be publishing, but I gotta make sure that everyone uh, could uh, read. You know, one book a week. For one book a week. Two, two, uh, for fifty weeks. I okay. Mean, 
that would be one year, almost one year. All right, thank you. And a part of like writing books. So because I've seen you done a lot of community works, a lot of social works. So uh, what it, uh, what 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 did you do uh, for those activities? Like uh, you mentally do, and then you know. Uh, because you collect the team's work and also volunteers, hundreds of them joining you, and then what did you do? And how, how, how many books so far that you have contributed, and how many libraries have you had so far? Well, I have to start with why. Um, I love reading. Okay. Then uh, I, I was fortunate enough to find some good libraries yep. in Cambodia, uh, I mean, in, in the city. Uh, I look. I look at the yep. uh, uh, people from uh, countryside, like myself. You know, when I was young, uh, grade nine, I wanted to read a lot of books, but uh, I couldn't find none. I mean, yep. not really a lot. So I had to, uh, you know, travel from far distance just to uh, buy some tiny little books, uh, like a mag, you know. Yeah. So that's. Uh, one problem I, I, I saw since I was young. And then uh, after releasing my first book, I also realized uh, writing and publishing my own book is pretty good, but it's, it's really slow in terms of you know, helping a lot of people to read. So I got an idea. How about we recycle, you know? How, we, how about we recycle old books that uh, some people just, they uh, might not need them. So we asked the public Right. to uh, the public to donate if they right. want to, I mean, if they can and if they want to. So, so far, we actually, we started that project in uh, 2018. I mean, January 1st, 2018. Then we uh, continue doing that until uh, 2020. But uh, uh, we got uh, like passed by uh, COVID because I mean, everybody uh, had to, uh, you know, had to deal with that. Uh, That's it, right. Like, That's like right. Unexpected event. So. So I used to but join so with far, one of the. Uh, uh, actually, I, I used to join one of your uh, community work. We came to Kampong Cham together. We. Yeah, uh, that, that you was, collect like uh, thousands first, of books, and then I was, gave to the Kampong Cham Provincial uh, Library, yeah, and right. it was like amazing. It was a great act, man. It was a great act. Thank you. Well, Let, I mean, that's not me doing that. I mean, a lot of people have done that, I was just there to cheer them up. That's right. And you too have uh, with the promotion, uh, Bun Hieng and... Uh, uh, and all volunteers, and a lot all of volunteers. Other people. Yeah, uh, and the volunteer. Right. And we collected um, uh, eight, I think 8,000 copies. Wow. The library. 8,000 copies of books, ladies and gentlemen. To Kim Pong Cham, right? First and uh, ladies and gentlemen, like uh, Dar Ali has uh, created a lot of uh, like clubs and us, like uh, teams as well, like a uh, reading, uh, Darali reading standard. You got, uh, what else? Like you got uh, pro reading also, so like a community work and also, if you want to join, if you want to donate books, right? So you can contact to Mr. Darali because uh, he always helps people and also have the, the remote area uh, school that need some books and to... And also, if uh, using any school in uh, uh, countryside would love to uh, get some, you know, donation, uh, they could also Yeah, we can, you, you can contact to Mr. Darali. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Wow, send the time is up right now, man. Uh, like, uh, what is your message for uh, the young reader and your fans who are watching here tonight? So, what is your last message, please? Yeah, again, well, just like the same, you know, old time, uh, believe in yourself, uh, you know, I myself, uh, I mean, we all get lost sometimes, uh, we, we can be confused, you know, we sometimes fall in love just like he did many times. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we, crazy thing sometimes. Yeah. Just be crazy, that, right? That, you mean that's sometime. part of life, you know. That's right. Uh, you study, you... Uh, work, uh, you do anything, but uh, you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, then uh, nobody else is going to be uh, uh, there for you. Nobody going to believe in, in uh, uh, what you're doing. So first and foremost, believe in yourself. That's Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, my friend. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, since the time is up right now, we're going to catch up with the Binyan Late Night Show tomorrow again and in tonight. And let's see what is going to be next. So thank you, Mr. Uh, thank you, my best friend. Thank you, man, for coming. 
Thank you, Mr. Ryder. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Mr. Handsome Man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to follow Darali, you can go to the Darali pages up there. So thank you so much. See you.